be in the garden, be in nature. I trust you're well. I certainly am. Where have I been? Me? <laughs> I've been here in the garden. Where have you been? Where have you been? Welcome back. It's so good to see you. It's been a while, I know. I must admit it has been a while. Welcome back. It's been a while, I know. I'll tell you where I've been. I've been busy creating be in nature. You know when I greet you and I say be in the garden, be in nature? Be in nature is really a project I've been working on where I teamed up with a great friend and business partner um, to make handmade soaps with no unnecessary chemicals natural products and ingredients many of which you can find in your own homes and in your kitchens and so that's really where we've been for many many months creating the right recipe for our soaps and you can check out these soaps on www.b which is b-e-e -E, in nature dot earth you can check them out yourself and um Please, maybe actually in the comments, in just looking at them, you can tell me which ones you like, the colours, the essential oils. Tell me which ones snap at you in terms of the design, maybe. And um, maybe you can even come up with some suggestions as to what we could create next. But I really want this video to be about saying thank you to each and every one of you for your patience, for your support, for your kindness. And I really wanted to take this time just to try and explain where I've been. It's not that I've not been in the garden. I'm just going to try and walk around as well without falling over. <laughs> it's just, um, oh, it's quite a sunny day now. It's, the sun is really poking through. So, um, let's see. So it's really about... Um, Yes, yeah, so be in nature is really trying to bring nature into products. So we're starting off with soaps, but who knows where this project will take us. It could be... There are lots of other opportunities that could arise from this be in nature. I just wanted to really take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you for understanding, for being patient. At times it's been frustrating because I just wanted to explain what it is that I'm doing, but I didn't want to come on and make a, a video and then be gone for a little while. My intention is to remain consistent in uploading videos about me in the garden, but I suppose now it will also contain some videos of myself and my business partner, Innes, she's just amazing, um, of us making soaps together. And um, that'll be fun too. Our soaps are available online and the link is here but we also travel with our soaps it's great because we get such direct feedback from individuals and the feedback is so positive and so encouraging so thank you to each and every one of you also um, be in the garden will continue I'm there now and I do want to let you know that I have been being in the garden but I haven't always had the time to document things in in videos but i do have a couple of videos upcoming so please look out for those as always make sure you subscribe share share and like give me the thumbs up give me some comments i do my best to read the comments and i think i owe one or two of you some responses i must apologize but i must get back on track i'm only human after all um that notification bell keep it clicked on so you do know when next I drop you a video I will also be showing you some to do with the garden but also in uh, my journey in creating soaps as well um, support me go onto the website to see if you can find a soap that suits you suits somebody that you know and love and care for and knowing that you're buying soaps and supporting um, small business that is making 
natural handmade so with essential oils so let's just take you on a bit of a walk around the garden um, it's April and it's beautiful it's beautiful today I want to show you some of the plants around the garden actually you can hear the birds singing oh, there's a big aeroplane as well though ignore the aeroplane but listen to the birds ignore the aeroplane listen to the birds So, um, I'm sure you'd like to know what these amazing soaps look like, and they look like Thai, be in the garden, be in nature. I trust you well, I certainly am. That's an example of one of our beautiful handmade vegan soaps with some petals. Use more ringa to colour this one. Look, it looks like it's got a love heart in it, doesn't it? If you don't know the health benefits from moringa, well, check it out. You will do after this. And this soap here, this one's, um, it's just lemongrass. And I tell you, it's really one of our best selling ones. Check it out on the website. It's actually part of our um, chakra range as well the lemongrass but check it out on the website remember www.beinnature.earth that one there is beautiful can you make out the logo it's seeds that have been sown and you know that with all seeds only with the right conditions they will germinate and create a plant so that's the thought process in our soap there beautiful this is lemongrass and it really is spectacular as you know there is no honey or no bees in this soap but we do use bubble wrap on the top of some of our soaps to create that sort of honeycomb effect so being vegan soaps there is no bee product in here whatsoever but this soap i assure you oh my gosh it's just so amazing with the natural ingredients in here i know it'll be great for the whole family try this one out i've got a plant in my garden called jasmine clotted cream and this soap here is called jasmine or springtime and this soap here is just gorgeous look at the design pattern in there can you see that it's got a yellow a faint light background then a yellow and a pinkish fuchsia color and that's to represent the petals of the jasmine beautiful handmade and it has the scent of jasmine it's a beautiful soap there okay thank you so much be in nature handmade vegan so, so the next soap has got a, like a blue camouflage. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's just delightful. I promise you. What do you think of the pattern in this one? I made this one to represent sort of like a camouflage, you know, nature's camouflage, sort of greeny blue colours. It kind of looks like a sky as well, I guess. Be in nature, handmade vegan soaps. It's, I mean, it's just delightful. Check this soap out. Let me show you another one. This one here, this is just delightful. This one is called Yin Yang because it's got the black and the white, which is opposites, I guess. But it's also got this gold, trickle of gold. You see that soap there? And the Essential oil in this one is Ylang Ylang. Gorgeous. Gosh, it's just delicious. Check this one out. It's available for you on our website. And it's beautiful. It really is. Just splendid. And also because you just know it's got natural ingredients in there, no unnecessary chemicals delightful patterns yeah tell me what you think of this one yin yang yi lang yi lang try saying that fast 
Yin yangi lang ilang. Yin yangi lang ilang. Yin yangi lang ilang. Yeah, getting better. <laughs> What about this one? Triple lemon. Lemon verbena, lemon grass, lemon, 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 lemon. Beautiful. Lemon sunrise. Again, it's gorgeous. But can you see the different three shades of yellow in this one? So the pattern is slightly different to before. Yeah, be in nature, be in the garden. Amazing sound of children playing in the garden. Here is the quince. We have the quince blossom. But guess what? We've also got here. This is isn't this incredible? Look, apricots. And they're already look quite large, bigger than my thumbnail. We have rhubarb. So the rhubarbs are all springing back since the winter we have a new plant here planted a mulberry they can get really very large but at the moment i'm leaving it in a pot actually at the moment this mulberry is see that detail there okay we have raspberries this is a thornless type, do you see that? So it's great, you know, perhaps if you have children or just for anybody really, it's a thornless variety. I'll see if I can get the name on this one. That's a raspberry there, a thornless variety. And I do like them because it can be very, it can be tricky when you have the ones with all the thorns, especially if you've got young children around. And um, we have the fig tree here. And that was pruned back in one of my videos but it's coming back to life well it was always alive it was just um filling out a lot because i've got this plant down here called kadoon it's like um artichoke and that's it there that's the name kadoon it's like an artichoke the I've just got it behind here because it's just still a very small plant currently. This has been recently planted. We have apricots here. Check out some apricots here in the UK. Yes, these are apricots. The squirrels love getting these, but I do intend getting some myself this year. But we have some beautiful apricots here. This plant here is the Gunnera, and I'll show you that in a video actually. I videoed how I um, got that ready for the spring already. You'll see that in an upcoming video. As will you see, this, not quite finished it, but it's a hotel for beneficial insects. Look at the blossoms on this apple tree. Isn't it just amazing, really, what nature does? Beautiful. A beautiful, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I was saying that I have been busy working on creating Be in Nature. And Be in Nature is where you'll be able to find natural, handmade soaps made by myself and Ines, <laughs> she's amazing, she's absolutely amazing and we're working so beautifully together on um, developing and creating this business. So we have been busy and that's really what's taken me away from being in the garden but it's not to say that I haven't been in the garden because I have 
but I I have in recent times been focusing on getting the soap products ready for retail, resale and for markets. Um, I wasn't really sure how to make this video because I do believe I owe you an explanation as to where I have been. Here are some bees just drinking from the, the pond. Aren't they amazing? Yeah, an explanation as to why I haven't been posting some YouTube videos. I'm sure many of you might have been wondering and I just guess I just really needed at that time to just focus on getting the soaps prepared for retail for our stockists and for market. So in many ways I do apologise that I was absent and I appreciate each and every one of you for your time, for your comments, for your support. I really do. And I hope that you're able to continue supporting and encouraging my ventures by subscribing if you haven't already, giving me thumbs up, liking, sharing, because that certainly will help me to grow the channel and to bring to people natural products. So being nature is all about providing individuals with natural products. I've got the plum tree here. You can see them just starting. Look, there's always beneficial insects somewhere, aren't there? And we are grateful to them. That's just plums. The blossoms are pretty much spent. There's a beautiful butterfly. Oh, I missed it by camera. But it's beautiful. The pond. There are actually some frogs' eggs in there. But I'll come back to that and show you when they turn into... What are they called after they become eggs? They become tadpoles, that's the word. Tadpoles will definitely come back and visit. But the garden is looking so beautiful. I'm so grateful. Um, the weather is a little chillier today than it has been in, a few, in recent days, actually. But I can't complain, really. Well, I can. Um, I'm still working on a few things out here in the garden, hence the sacks. Um, in fact, these bags here I put recently because I've um, been working on the banana plant, um, taking the leaves off from the banana plant. This one here, I think they call this particular plant, is it Goosefoot? Anyway, beautiful. So, so many blossoms and flowers for the bees. Yeah, so many. We've got gooseberries here, just here. Got some gooseberries. We've got black currant in the background. Okay, so quite a few edibles in this area. Anyway, you know me, I can always talk, can't I? So let's just get back to what it is I was trying to explain. Yeah, I've got some small cuttings. In fact, these ones here from the fig that I took about a month ago, and they are already throwing up some new shoots, which is great. And it's just free cuttings. I pruned back the fig tree pop them in some soil and hey presto you get some new shoots we've got some anemone here we have elderberry here again just for some wood cuttings stick them in the soil and before you know it you've got a new plant there's another little elderberry just here as well tiny little shoot 
put it in some soil, hey presto, free plants. Definitely worth the effort. Okay, so again, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean a lot. Um, please subscribe, help me grow my channel. I want to be able to reach as many people as possible and encourage them as well um, through being in the garden, through being in nature, through keeping physically active if you can by being in the garden or going out and walking and enjoying the outside. Um, there's a couple of things here. This is the gunnera. I think I've spoken about that before in one of my channels. The gunnera, the leaves become so huge in a beautiful way. I made this habitat for beneficial insects. You'll see that in an upcoming video I made. We've got the little birth, bird bath here and that really is just to encourage birds to come and drink from here. I suppose I should really try and change that water. It needs changing a little bit. I do from time to time um, and that's just from an old water tray and an upturned table leg actually. Um, we have this plant, I know I spoke about it um, in one of my previous videos and um, the slugs and the snails, they really just, they just devour this plant. It really doesn't get uh, to be at its best because the slugs and the snails just eat the foliage. But those of you who do recognise it, it's Dentata uh, Ligularia. Ligularia dentata. I'll put the wording up there if I can remember to. Um, and then we've got the pond here. It's looking gorgeous. Looking gorgeous. Okay. We've got the bees that are coming to get some water. Let's see if I can just zoom in a little. I put a cloth on some of the pebbles. So in case you're wondering, there's a yellow cloth here and it just helps the, the bees be able to land without drowning just land and then they, they can make good use of the water. These little insects are so amazing, they know where to find water because they can feel the moisture in the air. It's got lots of beautiful, beautiful plants going on here. Beautiful, isn't that? Just bouncing off the water. Beautiful. Okay, um, so really I just wanted to say thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have some, the beginnings of some pears here. This is my greenhouse that I'm trying to finish. Um, so I'll bring you on that journey as I complete it. There's no glass in it. So when I say I'm trying to finish this, there's no glass in it whatsoever. There's no protection, but it has got a small base to it. It's a brick foundation, and I just need to get that complete. But in the meantime, I am growing food here. I have some strawberries, and they're just flowering and looking beautiful as always. So they are in this raised bed here. And we have some leeks in this one here. And I intend planting out the furthest raised bed, maybe later on today, actually. We'll see. Okay, so that's the sort of greenhousey area. And then it points down towards the pond, it's just behind. We've got some bamboo over here. I've got my lovely seat in area where I can just look and stare into the pond. Container growing is a great idea. Again, suitable for balconies and all size gardens. We have a beautiful kale here. Fabulous kale growing underneath here. I put the net in really just to protect it from things like um, some butterflies that may like to lay their eggs and then devour the plant. So I've got a bit of netting over it. We have some chives. We have some more strawberries. We have celery. We have mint. We have wild garlic. 
flowers taste in garlic and these can be used also. We have some more cuttings of berries, currants, currants. Just stick a piece of cutting in there and then you have a new plant. It's that, that easy, that easy. Yeah, these again, just cutting, stuck into the soil, new plants. Got chamomile here. So um, that's coming up as well. Okay, but anyway. Um, again, you'll see when I planted these yew trees in a previous video and they're putting on quite a bit of growth already putting on quite a bit of growth to the light sort of feathery edges to the plant here yeah. yeah. we have up here in some pots Sorrel, it's needing watering actually this one. The red vein, you can see the beautiful red central vein in that sorrel. Beautiful in salads or juicing. Um, we have some sage. The labels are a little faint now. We have some mint there. And red barren, love grass. It dies back during the winter and then bounces back. Um, I'll have to bring you back to that when it's really back in its fullness. Okay, so for now, um, keep encouraging each other because it's very important that we be well, that we be kind, we be respectful. And um, that's really the meaning behind the word be. Be in the garden, listen to the birds, listen to the birds. See little wren over there. in the garden, be in nature too now, right? Listen to the birds, listen to the wind, listen to the trees. Until next time, keep well and thank you again. Share, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, encourage each other in the garden, or well not in the garden, outside in the park where you go for walks. Encourage each other to try and get some fresh air in nature encourage each other to try and grow anything mint lavender sage anything i'll see you in my next video bye for now